Hello, grade eight, and welcome to this weekly breakdown. So during this week, we are going to start with the lesson introduction to evolution. So we are going to get introduced to the meaning of evolution, and we will talk about how evolution is the change of the species over time. We're going to start by the scientists that contributed to the theory of evolution, starting off by Linnaeus and Lamarck. And then we're going to move on to Charlie's and Mary Anning's findings, such as rocks and fossils, that helped to contribute to the theory of evolution. And starting with the father of evolution, which is Charles Darwin. And we are going to talk about where much of his research comes from, such as the Galapagos Islands, which is off the coast of South America. So Charles Darwin went through a journey. And we are going to go through this journey with him to understand how he saw the species evolve and change through the Galapagos Islands. So what did Darwin's travel reveal? The diversity of living species was far greater than anyone had previously known, and that species, while different, had similarities to one another and to other species found in America. So he saw that some of these species were different but had some similar characteristics that brought them together. So this is how the theory of evolution started. What sparked Darwin's theory? So, he went to two different islands. And in these two different islands, there were tortoises, which are turtles, and birds that were clearly different from one island to the other. However, the similarities existed between them. So, Charles Darwin saw that these species were different from one another, but had a few similar characteristics, so he thought that the different islands and the different environment made those species evolve and have different yet similar characteristics. And this is how the theory of evolution started. And this is a picture of the Galapagos tortoises, which is the turtles, and he compared them to the different islands, and he, he thought that these species evolved according to the space that they were in. So in this lesson, we are going to summarize how the th theory of evolution emerged. And we are going, as usual, to assess ourselves using online resources and quizzes. And that is it for this week. Thank you so much, 8th grade.